have uh, all of this mass of tissue. Let's look around. Uh, this is this is connective tissue, okay? Because there are trabeculae that come in and strengthen it, okay? Here's some big chunk of connective tissue coming in from the capsule. Okay, here's the outside edge. Found it. So here's the outside edge. There's a capsule. Okay. There's a little bit of a space under the capsule, subcapsular space. Okay. And then we get into all of this tissue. And I had a good example right where I started. I'll never find that good of an example again. Uh, these spherical structures are the red pulp. Excuse me. Erase that. Erase that. These spherical looking structures are the, must be the other stuff, huh? White pulp. How do I know that? Well, <clears throat> it's stained red because those are the nuclei of the lymphocytes, right, from lecture? And it has this thing here. That's an artery. And this is a clump of material around that artery. It's not a spherical thing, really. It's linear. It's linear. If we get in and look close, this is what's called the central artery. And I want to pop back to a lower power and go find. There was one that we were looking at a second ago that, okay, there's a big central artery. Okay, well, wherever I was at the very beginning showed a beautiful central artery and now I can't find them, okay? But anyway, let's go back to this guy. That's a good example. There's a good central artery. There's your white pulp around it, the lymphocytes. And then the red pulp is this area out here, this more clear, uh, non-stained, because it does not have nuclei. Okay? Does not have nuclei. And so in, in your syllabus, there's a little set of things in there that, that has the keys that set as part for you these lymphoid organs. And for spleen, the key thing is the central arteriole with the white pulp and then the red pulp. That you'll be able to recognize. There is no way that you could come up and, and see something like uh, that and identify it as spleen. So this slide here is a slide of spleen? This is spleen, yeah. Didn't I say that? No, no, no. no. Oh, this is a slide of spleen. Okay, and, and the key way that you know it's spleen is that central arteriole, red pulp, excuse me, with white pulp around it, and then red pulp out here. And wh what I was trying to say there is that if I got off someplace, you know, like this, where you can even see the lymphoid tissue in the lower left corner of the screen, I couldn't ask you to identify this organ. There's not enough clue there. The clue is for spleen, that, okay? And so uh, you can rest assured that you will see it at that level, okay? You can rest assured that you will see it at that level so that you will be able to see the uh, artery uh, and the white pulp around it, okay? Excuse me. Okay. More lymphoid tissue. And, and you know, you get to looking at this lymphoid tissue has a very characteristic appearance. You're going to see this not only in lymphoid organ like I have on the field of view here, but you're going to see it in uh, uh, just scattered here and there. You'll find clumps of this lymphoid tissue with these lymphocytes with these very distinct nuclei taking up most of their volume. It'll be a very characteristic appearance like this. Okay. Now, 
what I have to do is look around on this slide and see if we can find something that tells us what it is. Okay. There is one of those lymphoid nodules in this organ. That would be where we'd have like a germinal center with B cells. Okay. Germinal center. And we can see that there are many of them on this in this organ. And I'll try and find in the surface. Ah. A little luck. Ah, yes. Here's a blast from the past. Identify the tissue in the field of view. Yeah? 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 Oh, no. None. This is non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelial tissue. That's what makes them squamous. These are the, the, the squamous cells, and you can see there's nuclei. See where it's sloughing off here? See the nucleus? Okay, so it's non-keratinized. And, and there we have our non-keratinized stratified squamous. We get deeper and deeper into it. There's our lower cells, you know, that have the cuboidal whatever appearance. And then it transitions off suddenly into lymphoid tissue. Look at that. Very typical lymphoid tissue. And I go looking along and see if there's something else going to show up here. Which doesn't seem to, okay? Often, and this one doesn't show it, but along this surface, see, this is, this is non-keratinized stratified squamous. Along the surface, there should be a cleft that opens up and drops down into it. It doesn't do it, okay, uh, into the lymphoid tissue. And in the lymphoid tissue, then we can see these lymphoid nodules and germinal centers. The clue that tells you what it is is this non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelial tissue, because where are you going to find that? Somewhere, like you're thinking esophagus because that's something we've studied before with it, right? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> in your head, neck region, if air only goes through it, it's ciliated pseudostratified columnar, right? But if food and water go through it, it's non-keratinized stratified squamous. And so here, we're at the back of the oral cavity where food and water abrade on things. And so this is a tonsil. And the clue that tells you it's a tonsil is the non-keratinized stratified squamous and if they were there, the clefts, these divisions that would go down into this tonsil. And then the germinal centers. Okay. And then the germinal centers. Okay. So that's a, that's a good tonsil. In what? Oh, yeah, yeah, because those have got B cells in them. You get in here in the germinal center, and you can see that there's cells, you can see nuclei and all. Definitely. Yeah. Remember, there's going, to be, there's going to be a lot of T cells out here and a lot of B cells in here. And we didn't talk about that in terms of tonsil. We talked about it in terms of this organ. Look at the lymphoid tissue, okay? You're going to see this lymphoid tissue over and over and over again, okay? And there is like a nodule with a germinal center, okay? You get, you get this nodule germinal center, but here we go out to the surface. That's not non-keratinized stratified squamous, is it? What is it? Oh no. no. Keratinized, the only place you have that skin. Yeah. 